Greetings all leg enthusiasts. Today we're gonna look at the level editor for hop legs and we're gonna I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know in order to upload a level. So we're gonna start first by navigating around in the editor a little bit. So I'm using the middle mouse to move around the camera, scrolling back and scrolling forward to zoom. Like very simple. There is some tutorial here. It shows you a little bit of what you can do in the editor, but if you don't like to read, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know. So for starters, I'm going to click this away because I know how the editor works. Over to the right, you can see different tabs and different like assets that you can use. It's different objects. So if we swap through them, we can see like we have the, uh, the terrain tab, the decoration tab, and then the background tab and so on. We also have the objects. The triggers and the foreground the foreground is just one object right now we don't need to think about it so we got the terrain which is where we're going to start so when you click on it you get this like little ghost object we're going to zoom in so we can see a little bit more so as you can see it moving along the grid uh and if you click on this button here toggle grid snap it won't follow along the grid so depending on what you want click there so uh when you have the little ghost object on screen you can use the WASD to scale it up and down and use Q and E to rotate and just left click to place. And that is a very good start for a level. Nani? And let's just place out two more objects, two, play, two pieces. Uh, and the first step is just like testing your level. So what you need, you need to go over to the trigger tab, select the player spawn and place it. And then we can press save and test level. But we need to name the level first. So let's name it something like my best level. There we go. And OK. And save and test. And here we are. And now we see the level. We can jump around uh, as expected. And we can fall down. And you can fall forever. So press escape, go to editor, and then we're back. What we're going to do next is we're probably going to just do some very simple decoration uh, of a simple level. So play some more objects. People love stairs is what people have said. People that have played hop legs have specifically said, Kevin, I love stairs. So let's just go to the decoration tab. Once we place a few pieces, take the grass. And right now you see that it's very big. It's because it's using the same scale that I used while I was placing the terrain pieces. So if I press R on the keyboard, I reset the scale. But I like to scale it up a little bit. Uh, so we can just place it out. This is, this is just like Bob Ross, like placing beautiful grass patches uh, and trees and everything. But uh so if we start the level now you'll see we're in a forest a very bad forest but we're in a forest it's good we can jump around and if we want to make the very most basic level we can place out the goal there and now we just need to get up there as i said people love stairs i clicked it i did uh and there we go so we beat a level. This is the very basic thing that we could do, but I want to add more things to this level because I want to show you what the level editor can do because it can do a lot of cool things. So to begin with, we can make a, we can drag select, by the way, I forgot to mention that you can drag select, move things out. So we want to place out some uh, ground pieces and because I want to have a button and a door. So I'm going to the object tab. The first one to the top left is the button. So we'll have it here. Place it there. Very good place. And then we can take the scale down platform. So what you're going to see is this tiny little object that we can like scale up and then rotate a little bit. Uh, place it there. The cool thing about the level editor is that we can like connect these two. So when you press the button, the door will do what it's coded to do. Like we can press the button and the door will open or close depending on which one you placed. But if you have trouble selecting the button, now it worked first time, but if you, you can toggle, you see here, the different layers 
play around with that so if i wanted to press the button but i couldn't then i just had to like toggle the decoration so i could like click on it and then we get these properties up where we can decide if it's going to be a one-time button or not and then set an id and this is the important part in order to link the button to the door we need to set them to the same id so we got the id one on the button and we're going to go to the door and press id one Boop. and now you can see the little line here that says that they are connected and i want to show how it works uh there we go and that's the door uh, we can do some cool things as well. Uh, it's a very short level, but it... we can work with that. A thing that I forgot to mention is that you can actually let's I'm right clicking to delete, by the way. Uh, so if we're using the um, as you can see here, certain objects that are selected have this little window up here with N and M. So if you press those, you can like toggle between different like material or colors. So if we want snow here for some reason, we can do that. So I can take the ground piece, M and M to toggle different materials, place it. But those objects that can be swapped out the material, you can select it and do it down here as well if you want it. Okay. And like right click to delete. So what I want to do as well, I want to show you the trigger system because I feel like it's a very... Uh, powerful things we can have a trigger enter here when you enter this trigger it will trigger the object that it's connected to so the same thing you want to have a static camera here that we can set to enter static camera then we get a small window or a small box that shows where the camera will be like framed so we set the static camera id to two and then the trigger enter one time trigger in this case to id2 and now we have the trigger enter connected to the static camera so let me show you what happens if we jump into it boom the camera will now be like static and show this and we can go back and set the value higher so the zoom is more zoomed out uh and there you go and what we can do then, if we want to make sure that when you press the button, the camera will like snap back and follow you again, we can place in the trigger tab, we can place out a, um, what was it? Static camera again, uh, and just have it as it's not entering the static camera. And then we can have ID one, same as the button. What it will do, uh, we're going to jump in and now you see this camera is static it's on the on the level and then we jump in and press the button and the camera zooms back and follows me along uh and so that is like very powerful how the level editor can work so let's see what else can we do i think i want to write as you saw you can fall down you fall forever because we're never telling the game hey you fell out of bounds so what you need to do what you need to do you need to go into the death trigger no you need to go into the trigger uh tab select a death trigger and then scale this up very big uh just place it i have learned that it's better to be safe than sorry because there are people out there i i see you you can jump very high and very weird we can jump around uh, uh, so make sure that you, you make your level safe. So now if we jump wow, and fell, there we go. And the level resets. There is also a checkpoint that we can place out. We can place it there. Uh, and then there we go. Now it's, it's selected. So if we jump back like this, fall out, boom, we enter here, uh, or we start from here. So that is very simple how the uh, how the checkpoint system works. So when you're thinking this is a pretty good level, uh, then you can go into the background tab and you can actually select mountains and you can scale them up because they look cool. And right behind my face, there are different 
layer of like sorting orders you can set objects behind and in front of each other so we can set this object to nine for example uh you probably don't see it because it's behind my face but i'm pressing nine scaling it up pressing it there so i placed the mountain and then i pick a cloud that i can set to eight so it's in front of it and then i can set the uh, sorting order to 10 and then it's behind it so you can set different depth of the background object you can also set the depth of uh, the majority of the uh the object in the uh in the decoration tabs so the trees for example if we for some reason want a very large tree in the background it can be behind a mountain uh so that is that's very powerful but i don't want the tree in the background so we can also place out some birds just gonna find the birds because birds are cool uh place birds in your level they are they're nice let's see you can scare them away yeah so what you also can do you can head to the foreground tab and select this one scale it up and you can remember to press n and m to swap between different uh foreground objects and just play around with them what you feel is going to work so placing them there they look amazing and if we just start it and see we see it in the foreground may oof it's a very good with the framing solid first try uh there we go jump up cool so when you feel that your level is done and you want to upload it to the uh to the workshop then you need to head over up here to the left and then you see the upload level button so you click it but then you notice that it's a level existing folder that means that the level is saved you've tried it once but there's no screenshot that exists and that means that we need to head back into the level I had to remove some foreground because in the bottom left corner you can see the toggle screenshot mode and uh, that's a thing that i'll fix later but for now you can press tab to enter the uh the screenshot mode and you can like zoom out and everything to find the right frame for the, the thumbnail of your level so i want to zoom in this is good this is a very solid frame and then i'll just press space to take the screenshot there we go you saw the flash in the bottom left you can press tab to toggle again uh the tab in the screenshot mode and then you can head back to the editor uh and then we can go up to upload level again and now you see the level is there everything is working and then you need to press single player because right now there's only support for single player levels and it's a very casual level it's that's it it's a very casual level and then you need to set a description that fits your level or if you want to be witty that you can do that as well this is my best work there we go and then in order to make sure that other people can actually beat your level so you don't upload a level that doesn't work you're going to have to beat your own level before you upload it there we go pressing the button jumping up <laughs> stairs i love stairs there we go and now you get to this point and this is where you see hey this is a summary of what you've done upload level there we go now we wait there we go your level was successfully uploaded and now we can take a few minutes for your level to appear in the steam workshop for other people cool so that was the basics of the level editor i hope you learned a lot and if you have any questions let me know either in the comments below or head over to my twitch and i'll help you and if you have a level that you want me to play, I really want to play it. So let me know. Okay, bye. Never skip leg day.